Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video where we are continuing with the series of uh, model paper solutions of the fifth sem EC first subject which we are having day day after tomorrow the exam technological innovation and management entrepreneurship. Again, those who are new to this video and those who have not watched my previous videos where where I have already covered two modules, go and watch that. It is available in our channel. Again, subscribe to our channel if you are uh, if you are new to this channel. Subscribe to it. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Uh, share these videos to a huge number. Okay, so without wasting much time, uh, from module three, let us continue with the questions of model paper. That is, first question is five A. Describe the social responsibility of business towards different groups. Okay, so towards business, so what is its uh, uh, contribution and all? It's mentioned here towards the consumer, consumer and the community. Uh, businesses have a duty to protect the interests of their cons uh, consumers. And contribute to the welfare of the communities they operate in. This includes uh, these uh, uh, these points here. If you mentioned here, providing safe and quality products. Okay, that is it. Must ensure that their products uh, meet safety standards and are free from defects. Okay. Next is fair pricing, charging reasonable prices without exploiting customers as a key responsibility. Okay, pricing uh, of the product should be of fair amount. Okay, it should not be uh, uh, more than the. Uh, more than expected and should not be very less than expected. It should be of medium amount where uh, the customers are affordable to buy. Okay, next is transparency, providing accurate information about products, including their usage, ingredients, and potential risks as crucial. Okay, next is towards uh, employees and workers. Employees are a vital part of any business. Businesses must ensure the welfare of the workers by providing fair wages. Okay. That is, paying employees competitive salaries in line with industry standards is essential. Okay, fair wages with salaries must be of fair amount. Okay, okay, uh, uh, with respect to their skills and the amount of hard work they have put in, uh, we should be giving those fair wages to them. Okay, next is safe working conditions. Ensuring a safe and healthy work environment is crucial to prevent workplace accidents and illnesses. Safety measures and compliance with labor laws are important. Next is job security. Business should offer stable jobs and avoid uh, frequent layoffs. They should also create policies to protect employees' rights and promote job satisfaction. Okay. Next is the tra training and development. Okay. So next point is towards the shareholders and other businesses. Okay. Uh, it should be uh, uh, dealing with profitability and growth, transparency and accountability, fair returns. Okay. Timely payments, etc. Okay, then last point is towards the government. Okay, what is towards the government? We should be uh, contributing by paying taxes honestly, then uh, following laws and regulations, and supporting government initiatives. Okay, so next question What are the essential characteristics that define a successful entrepreneur? Okay, this is again a very important but to define a successful entrepreneur. We need to be dealing with some of the characteristics. You should be an entrepreneur should be having those things in it within him. That is, first is creativity. It involves the ability to generate new ideas, products, or services that can solve problems or meet market demands. For example, Steve Jobs introduced uh, innovative uh, products like uh, iPhone, which revolutionized the tech industry. Next is innovation. Entrepreneurs uh, innovate by giving resources a new purpose to create wealth or improve efficiency. Okay, for example, Elon Musk's development of electric vehicles at Tesla transformed the automotive industry, as you all know. Next is dynamism. For dynamism, for example, you can see Jeff Bezos expanded Amazon from an online bookstore to a global e commerce giant. Okay, next is leadership. So, Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, is a great leader who has led the company to success through his strategic vision and management. Through the Google uh, platform. Okay. Team building, still more points we are having team building, achievement motivation. Okay. With one example, they have uh, mentioned it neatly. You can uh, write it like this only. Okay. So please uh, do write it like this. Next is goal orientation. Okay. Yeah. So please note these points down, pause the video and uh, try to learn it. So let's get to the next question now. What are some common myths about entrepreneurship? Okay, so again, this is very important. I've told you some common myths are there uh, about entrepreneurship, which are uh, completely uh, false. Okay, false narratives are, are uh, spreading here, so you should not be having those false narratives. That is, they are mentioned it here in this common myths. First is entrepreneurs are born, not made. Okay, the clarification for this part is 
Many people believe that entrepreneurship is an innate trait. In reality, entrepreneurial skills can be learned through education, practice, and experience. Successful entrepreneurs often work hard to develop their abilities over time. Okay. For example, Jeff Bezos learned management and innovation through education and corporate experience before founding Amazon. Next is entrepreneurs are uh, are academic and social misfits. Okay. Clarification for this: there is a misconception that entrepreneurs are dropouts and non. confirmation while some famous entrepreneurs did leave formal education most are well educated and socially skilled individuals who leverage their networks effectively for example bill gates a college dropout still values education and has a strong network of professionals okay next myth is entrepreneurs fit and ideal profile uh, there is a no universal template for a successful entrepreneur entrepreneurs are uh, Uh, come, uh, they have come from diverse backgrounds with uh, varying personalities, experiences, and approaches. For example, Elon Musk's innovative mindset contrasts with uh, Warren Buffett's investment focuses on long-term approach. Yet both are successful entrepreneurs. All you might be knowing it. All you need is money to be an entrepreneur. Okay, uh, we don't need money to be an entrepreneur. Money is a factor, but uh, money is not the only thing. Okay, that is they have mentioned in the cl- clarification sheet here. while money is important it is not the sole requirement vision strategic planning luck market understanding perseverance hard work dedication all this comes under the uh, when you want to, if you want to become an entrepreneur all of this should be available okay example many startups begin with limited funding but succeed through creativity and resourcefulness like instagram in its early days next is all you need is luck to be an entrepreneur okay that's a huge myth uh, a biggest myth of all okay luck is not the only factor to become an entrepreneur hard work and dedication should be there okay next myth is a great idea is the only ingredient for the business success okay a great idea is the part but uh, it, it is not the only thing if you want to execute that idea you should be having a certain uh, skill set within you and also you should be properly communicating within your team members to uh, implement that idea okay so one idea if you have with that initiative you should be thinking of growing that idea okay so a great idea is not the only ingredient for next success okay so there are still more myths here you can uh, check it out if you want okay so next question is explain the key stages of the entrepreneurial development cycle okay the key stages are stimulatory activities definition details and example you can uh, note it down later next is uh, support activities sustaining activities okay you can uh, check it out later okay so these uh, these three are the main key stages of entrepreneurial development cycle so please go through it so yeah that's all for this video guys i've tried to cover module 3 solutions of model paper so please go through it uh, take the screenshots uh, by pausing the video as uh, uh, the pdf description it would be taking uh, some amount of time to upload it in the description so a pdf link it should the pdf should be converted to link form so it would be taking a lot of time so please don't ask for uh, links in the uh, comment section i would be providing link don't worry so wait for some time within uh, this night or tomorrow morning i'm going to provide it okay so please do wait for it and also if you want to study now itself take the screenshots uh, by pausing the video and then learn it if you want okay yeah don't wait for my link to be uploaded in the description so yeah that's all for this video guys like share subscribe to my channel share this video to a huge number as exams are approaching near all the best from my side do study well do score good marks okay thank you